look at passing reverse de la Hiva. If you're not familiar with this guard, um, if I was playing the de la Hiva guard, the leg that's on the outside makes the de la Hiva hook. Okay? Reverse de la Hiva, the, the, the push leg or the, the distance maker leg makes the hook, and the de la Hiva hook makes a frame or a wedge. Again, this guard evolved as a counter to this, the, the knee slice or the knee cut. Say Kiara was going for his knee cut pass, I'd be, as his knee comes in, I'd be using my foot to keep distance and then I'd be using my right foot to kind of keep my tail. Um, again, there's different grips, we'll look at a variety of in the pass in a minute, but a few options from there if you're not familiar with the guard is. I can be controlling Kiara's heel, I can be moving forward to come up into a, a high single, so you can use this reverse down and you push to come up, make a grip on the thigh, and then I can come up, take car down from that position, or um, you can spin underneath him as well, so again if he's cutting in for a cut cross, I can be using the reverse down heave to keep car back, um, maybe I was making car the color is sleek, he pulls that off, hand can come in, and then he can spin inside, and we have a kiss of the dry kiss of the kind of stuff that we can play. From a passing perspective, nothing's really changed, cards in the bottom. We want to remove connection. We want to not get his feet pointing at me. We want to get ourselves at a mechanical advantage, don't have his knees pointing at me, control the house usual story, but it's doing things the way. Let's look at um, so we have two options from here. Say Kiara's playing that reverse de la Hiva hook, and he has the ankle here, and he has um, the collar, which sucks because now I'm in the fifth vulnerability, whereby my head's in front of my hips, and he can use that to pull me forward and off balance and stuff. So from here, but I have two free hands. So obviously we need to remove this first, just like de la Hiva. So again, I grab the wrist, turn his knuckles up, pop it off, keep the grip. Now I need to deal with the, the reverse de la Hiva hook. So I'm going to make a grip on the pants. And now from this position, I'm going to lean in. Again, Kiara's made a lot of connection with his foot L-shaped up my hip. So um, once I have this, I'll drive in a little bit, and then I'll just sort of pop back a little bit. And now we're in their split squat position. And we have three options from there knee cut, um, long step, or the smash pass, just whatever you're into. So again, yeah, I can win that underhook, sit through, walk his hip back, control the head, control the hips. So, maybe I went for that knee slice pass. Car stopped it, I put this reverse down the heel hook. So again, I need to deal with this. So again, I just bind the knuckles, pop it off, keep it, or it's coming back again. Make a grip on the pants, just put a little bit of pressure, okay, into that hook, into the de la Hiva hook, and then I just pop it back, and I can now move into split squat again. Maybe from here, I couldn't get my knee to the mat, so we talked about how I can control the far hip, and run his hips into the smash pass. Win the underhook, head control, Open the elbow, slide my knee in, cross face, mount. Um, let's look at, sometimes they play a collar and sleeve version of that. So that variation isn't going to work because you can only have two free hands. So I'm playing is the first out of Hiva, and now he, instead of grabbing my ankle, he's got the collar and the sleeve. So it'd be very difficult to break this grip with one hand. So from that position, I'm just gonna latch on to this collar, use my hand as a post, and now my goal is to get Charles um, right knee to the mat by just dropping the switch. And again, he'll be looking to keep, anytime his hook isn't connected or active, if I move this way and his hook is loose, it's gonna be an easy pass. I'll just turn my hip fast. Okay, but from here, Kiara wants to keep that reverse de la Hiva hook connected, so his, his foot's L-shaped on my hip. So we can't break this grip, I can post my hand on the mat, my goal is to get his right knee to the mat here. And once it's there, I can now bring my knee in and one shield wiper it over the top. And now I win the cross face, 
win the underhook and again we're in that safety position that we talked about in the previous week side of one car playing half guard so again from there when the moment's right weave inside come out let's take another look at that so it really depends on whether you have two free hands i'd break the grip look for the split squat position or if he's controlling collar and sleeve work on getting that reverse delaheba hook to the mat so if he's collar and sleeve and i haven't got two hands i'm just going to use my hand as a base move laterally sideways and bring Carl's knee to the mat once i have his knee to the mat notice the big car slightly on the side i'm going to be pushing to flatten him out and i'm just going to win the shield away for that hook in again even if he keeps his hook bring my knee in front weight comes forward and just one sheet wiper and again from there that side that i pinned is the cross face underhook pressure try to get half guard and now i'll just weave inside moment or the first option again just from our position here this time he has the collar and he has the anchor which means I have two free hands. So I would recommend popping this off first. That makes sense. Keep it, and then from there, drive in slightly. And now it's just all about pinning this and moving into the split spot position. So the other uh, pass we looked at from there was the wrong step pass. Okay. So let's drill that, guys, our reverse De La Hiva 